If you walk around any grocery store in this country, heck, the world, it's going to be built on smoke and mirrors and tons of lies. And I'm not exaggerating. And a lot of that stuff happens in the middle aisle. You think you're eating a fiber rich food? They actually stripped out all the fiber and I'll tell you why. You think you're eating foods that have no added sugar because it says so on the back of the label? They're lying. You think you're eating fat free foods because it says zero calories, zero fat on the back? They can be lying in many, many circumstances. I'm going to expose them right now, just like Chris Hansen on Dateline NBC. So less talking, more shopping. Let's do investigative journalism 101 here in the grocery store. There's a very disturbing trend going on with the foods in the middle aisles of the grocery store, and it's fiber. And where the heck did all the fiber go? Spoiler alert, it's being processed away. It happens everywhere, but a main example is in cereal. Let's just pick up something like this. Corn pops, corn flakes. We know they're probably not that good for you, but corn is actually a decent source of fiber. I think it's like a one and a half cup of corn kernels has over six grams of fiber. So it does have fiber, which is very important for multiple reasons. We'll get into that. But I ask you this then, why does corn pops, which has a serving size of what does that say? One and a half cups. And if you dial in on the fiber right there, zero. When the main ingredient is a milled corn, how does it have zero grams of fiber? Or the iconic cornflakes with the rooster here, and the serving size is a cup and a half. How does it only have one gram of fiber when the first ingredient is corn? The answer is ultra high processed foods. Are we listening? Are we taking notes there? <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh my gosh, ah, you're so sweet. Oh my God, you're that autograph on the shopping list. I like that. Thank you for watching. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, oh, so nice. Um, ultra high processing strips all of the fiber from these processed pre-made food. Why is that a big deal? Because in this case, for example, this is a breakfast food. Fiber satiates your hunger. So if you're eating something that has no fiber, it won't satiate your hunger, it'll spike your blood sugar, and you'll get hungry an hour later and then eat a donut at school or the office and you'll get fat. Fiber also is known as a prebiotic. It feeds your gut bacteria and fiber, also regulates your blood sugar and glucose. So if you're eating food that has no fiber, you're majorly, majorly messing up your body. Well, hey, I wonder why so many of us are obese and fat and over 50% of us are type two diabetic and pre-diabetic. Bring back the fiber, stop taking it out of our diet because that's travesty. I recently went shopping with a friend and she told me she likes to use Pam because it's zero calories and zero fat per serving. So I said to her, how is that possible when this is just a canister of nothing but oil. And she said, because of the serving size. So she actually knew the answer, but this is such a lie. How can a can of nothing but fat, and actually in this case, anti-foaming agents and butane and propane be zero calories, zero fat? It's because the serving size says a quarter second spray. So literally, that's it. And the government says that if you have under a certain amount of fat per serving, I think it's 0.5, you can call it fat free. If you have under five calories per serving, you can call it fat free. Well, that's absurd because this is nothing but fat. And for people who actually count fat and calories, you're doing a huge disservice. All of this stuff is pure fat. And more importantly, when you get something like this in the traditional canister, you're also getting an anti-foaming agent which is also used in paint, I believe, and the propellant is butane and propane, which is horrible. So you're much better off with a non-propellant can, but even all of these usually say zero calories, zero fat. It's not, it has fat. Don't think you're cheating the system and you're also getting the nasty chemicals in here too, but that's a sleight of hand and we ain't gonna fall for it. Taking a walk through the little personal care section here at Walmart, I spy the same whitening strips I have at home in the bathroom from Illuminu. I like these because when I need to whiten my teeth, I don't want to use the traditional ones. I'll show you in a second. I want to use non-toxic ones. And the whitening strips from Illuminu, if you see the ingredients, night and day compared to the competitors. 100% plant-based, 
no irritants, but no harsh ingredients. What do I mean? Here we go. So something like the leader, this, or any, to be any whitening strips, to be honest. Look at the ingredients, if I can find them here. Here we go. Hidden at the bottom, look at this. So PEG are usually petroleum-based preservatives, but more importantly, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, yes, it makes your teeth nice and white, but your oral microbiome is way too sensitive for something like harsh hydrogen peroxide. And keep in mind, whatever you put on your gums does go into your bloodstream. I would stay away from that. Luminu white strips, once again, plant-based, no hydrogen peroxide, and also, yeah, they're safe for enamel and teeth sensitivity, but more importantly, they work and they're non-toxic. They do give some promo codes sometimes on Instagram stories, so check that out over on the Flav City Instagram. But I know they're nationwide now at uh, Walmart, so I'll put a store locator in the description box down below. If you use teeth whitening strips, try these from Luminu. They are really, really fantastic. Wow, that is a ginormous wall of condiments and mayo. I mean, how do you know which one to pick? But I'm gonna focus on first, how can you trust any of the labels? So this is real mayo. And we go back to this technicality from the government. It says zero grams of sugar added per serving and a serving is a tablespoon. But clearly in the ingredients up high right there, it says sugar. How, how do they do that? Because per serving, if you have under a certain amount of sugar, you can call it sugar-free, but that's misleading because no one, come on, let's admit it, no one's using one tablespoon. You're going, you're using at least three, and then it really adds up. And considering the average American consumes about 20 plus teaspoons per day, and so many of us have type two diabetes or pre-diabetic, this is why all of these pre-made foods in the middle aisle, and some are good, right? But so many of them have added hidden sugars. And for this one, if you're just reading the added sugar is zero, it's very, very misleading. Uh, that reminds me, when you're in doubt at the grocery store, because when you're looking at a wall like that of condiments or a wall like that of dried goods like that, scan it with the free Bobby Approved app. Just search Bobby Approved on Android or iOS or put a link down below. It's like having me shop with you. You scan the barcode, it tells you if it's good or bad and why. So if it has a cruddy ingredient, it will highlight it in red, tell you why, and give you better recommendations. We also do sweet promo codes just for app users, and so many people have been scanning lately. It's been amazing. So get the free app. It's like having me go shopping with you, and it takes the guesswork out of shopping. Let's say you're diabetic or you're keto and you're not using regular sugar because you're trying to lower the amount of carbs in your diet or the amount of glucose in your system. Well, you pick up something like stevia. Go! Oh! Fumble, fumble, ruski. You pick up something like stevia in the raw. You're like, well, it's stevia, I'm gonna get it. Ooh, this really boils my blood. The first ingredient is dextrose, then stevia. Dextrose is another word for sugar, straight up sugar. So how do they do this? Because the serving size is so small. One gram has less than one gram of sugar. Well, no poop Sherlock. Of course, one gram is going to have less than one gram of sugar because the first ingredient is actually sugar. So misleading because if you use a few of these, it adds up. And one gram is only a quarter teaspoon, so it looks relatively low when you're looking on the macros, but the first ingredient is sugar and you're selling it as stevia. Shame on you. All you have to do, do they have it? Oh, they don't have a clean one, is buy pure stevia. They used to have it here. Make sure you buy it, it's just stevia. Nothing else added to it. The serving size is gonna be tiny because stevia is like 300 times sweeter than sugar. So you just need a little, little pinch of it they probably put the sugar in there as a bulking agent so they can put it in a packet. But when you're buying stevia and the first ingredient is sugar, major Dikembe Mutombo. Uh, 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 uh. There's a huge difference between pure vanilla extract and imitation vanilla flavor. And the difference isn't just the price. Big bottle of imitation, a buck 46. Tiny bottle of vanilla extract, 412. Tiny bottle, though, has. Where are the ingredients? There we go. Vanilla bean steeped in alcohol. That's literally how you make vanilla. Imitation vanilla flavor, 
very different. Water, propylene glycol, not an ideal ingredient at all, but vanillin caramel color to make it brown, nasty preservatives, vanillin. But the thing is, vanillin is the active ingredient for artificial vanilla. And you might think, listen, how bad is it? Bad. Not only are the other ingredients bad, but vanillin is derived from petroleum. And the more I learn about artificial ingredients, the more they're derived from petroleum. Artificial colors derived from petroleum. Artificial vanillin, petroleum. Bad news. So even though it's more expensive, buy that. I mean, go to Sam's Club or uh, Costco, it's cheaper, and use a little bit of it because this is the real deal. That, I would not put in my worst enemy's body. I would say 99% of the balsamic vinegar we buy in this country is not real balsamic. Even though this says it's a product of Italy, balsamic vinegar should technically be one ingredient. Grape musk. But we add wine vinegar to it, or they add wine vinegar to it, to speed along the process to make vinegar. And technically, that's not real balsamic. I'm not as concerned about that. <clears throat> when you turn it over here, you'll see wine vinegar is the first one, then musk. But after that, almost all of them have caramel coloring. And caramel coloring is a fake food additive, a fake coloring, just to make it look like true balsamic, that kind of purple hue. You know, it's like Costanza from Seinfeld, pinkish hue on the cheeks. This is a purplish hue in the bottle. The problem is you would get that natural purplish hue if you let it age in the barrel long enough, but that costs more money. So they add caramel coloring to cut the process. It's a horrible, horrible trick that most people don't even think about. They buy this, they make their salad dressing, they're good to go. You don't want caramel coloring. And if you're buying any of these glazes here, thinking it's a balsamic just reduction, it's not. Look at this, this is insane. So basically it's the caramel coloring Sometimes we'll add sugar, but how do they thicken it? <laughs> With guar gum and xanthan gum. I've also seen GMO cornstarch used. If you get like a 20 year age balsamic, that will be a beautiful glaze. This is nothing like that. This is just made with uh, filler ingredients and thickeners. This is to be avoided at all cost. All right, friends, that is it from the grocery store. And I like making these videos because it's so hard to shop and it's so hard to read ingredients and labels. But even when you do, sometimes they're lying. And technically they're doing it legally, but it's so deceiving to us consumers. So I hope this video helped. If you want further help, just download my free app, search Bobby Approved on the App Store or the Google Play Store, scan any bar code at any grocery store in North America. It will tell you if it's Bobby Approved or not and why. But from one of my favorite places, the grocery store, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Later.